Hey everybody, I just wanted to show with this example how to include a dependent source in multi-sim. So for this example, let's just go through it. So let's start off drawing the five resistors. So you can just go here, or you can just press R on your keyboard and then it brings up resistors. So I'm just going to put five of them. Okay, and then we can rotate these. And I'll give them the same value. So this is two. So you can you can move this slider or you can just type it right here. This one is five. Two. Twenty. Okay, and I'll include this um, independent source. So that's just voltage here, and that is 20 volts. Okay, for the dependent source, you see right here, um, scroll down toward the bottom of the menu, it says modeling blocks, and then see here, voltage controlled, voltage source, current controlled, uh, voltage controlled current source, current controlled voltage source, current controlled current source. So what we want is current controlled voltage source, this one. Okay, so how it works is, let, let me just wire it kind of how it looks in the picture. Right, so the voltage source is here. I need more space. But then the current runs through here. That's what's controlling it. So let me wire the rest of it first. Okay. So in the picture, the current through the 5 ohm resistor, that's what's controlling the source. So that's the current right, well, right here. Right? The current here determines the voltage. The gain is 8. So we need to feed the current from here, here, we am going to go around about through here, and it comes back out. Let me leave more space. And back here. It goes this way, feeds through here, and then here. All right, so the current passing through here is what controls the voltage here, and then the gain was 8, so I'll change this to 8. Okay, so that's that. Let me switch over. Like, this is the answer we're expecting. So the voltage across the 20 ohm resistor, let me put a voltage probe here, and then another one over here, so here, and then the current running through here is so like, like that, and we're expecting V1 to be 16 volts, V2 to be 10, and the current to be 1.2. And if the reference is here, so let me put the reference here. Okay, and then let me just run it. Oh, 
Okay, let me zoom in a little bit. All right, so the voltage here, 16. Voltage here is 10. The current going through here, 1.2. That's what we expected. Okay, hope that was helpful. Let me, just let me know if you have questions, and I'll see you on the next video.